Hello everyone. From this lecture, I will start a new chapter that is bioinorganic chemistry. Here I will talk about different metalloenzyme, metalloprotein that found in biology, which catalyze different transformation and utilizing different metal ion. So here I will first talk about blue copper protein, which mainly found in bacteria to humans in different forms in the organism. So here I will discuss this blue copper protein with structure characterization and, and, and its important role in biology. So first we would like to know what are blue copper protein. Now this, this type of protein are type 1 copper containing protein, a redox containing protein actually. This is a redox, their major role is the redox transformation, redox protein because this kind of protein plays a crucial role to subtle electrons from an electron donor to an electron acceptor in bacteria and plants. Found in remarkably variety of organism ranging from bacteria to humans. So it consists of mainly copper metal ion where copper present in two different oxidation state in the two form. In the oxidized form it is in plus two state in the reduced form it is in copper one state. So copper two subtles between this copper 2 and copper 1 state and this blue copper protein actually utilizes this electron transfer phenomena and uh, that actually found in this bacteria to human. One example I will show uh, when we talked about there is a plastocyanin. So basically important part is that when copper 2 is reduced to copper 1 the geometry will change to from square planar to tetrahedral. For this transformation, square planar to tetrahedral, as you can see from this pictorial, a huge reorganization energy is required for switching. But however, in biology, this kind of transformation takes place effortlessly. They are so spontaneous and rate of electrons transfer you can see over here 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 6 molar inverse second inverse. So basically, this kind of trans electron transfer phenomena in in synthetic model is different, extremely different because it's copper 2 to copper 1 require high reorganization energy, huge amount of energy will, uh, is to be supplied in order to carry out this process. However, in biology, it occurs effortlessly. So then how does this electron transfer occur so rapidly? So basically, for that we have to understand the its structure property, then last we will know the reason behind this electron transfer process. So here uh, are some of the bond parameter distance for this blue copper protein on a such example is popular plastocyanin where copper center is uh, surrounded by 4 ligand 2 is histidine, histidine 37, histidine 87 and this scaffold, organic scaffold is the imidazole part of this histidine moiety. Uh, so you can see this is the 2 sulfur moiety, one is methionine sulfur, one is cysteine sulfur. So distance you can see over here copper nitrogen distance of histidine like 1.91, 2.06 and copper sulfur distance of 16 with 9, 2.07, 2.82 angstrom. So this is, this is the basically structure of this blue copper protein or copper present in copper 2 in oxidized form in, and in the reduced form it is in plus 1 oxidation state and bond distance this is shown over here. Now coming to the spectral characterization of this blue copper protein found in plastocyanin, first we will talk about the exchange structure. Now the bond parameter I have shown in the last slide is often from the exchange structure. So if you got the single crystal exchange structure of this kind of molecule or from the protein structure you got the X-ray. So from the X-ray structure you will find out that this kind of this copper nitrogen, copper nitrogen bond distance, copper sulfur bond distance you can find out. This 2.04, 2.10 this kind of bond distance which can, can be easily found out from the exchange structure. So exchange structure is very, very important in order to understand the bond length, bond, uh, uh, bond angle of, uh, of this metal to ligand, uh, all these parameter. Coming to the absorption spectroscopy of this blue copper protein, there is a special features this kind of blue copper protein is having. You can see that molar extension coefficient or intensity of this blue copper protein in is very high. You can see that you can see the around 5000 to 6000 and range so the intensity is very high compared to the normal copper containing any uh, uh, metal ion or complex normal copper con same having same concentration your normal copper complex giving the 
intensity or molar excitation coefficient around like this 100 below 100 the same concentration the blue copper protein will show the molar extension coefficient is like 5000 to 6000 this range so this kind of high intense band in the uvs region this kind of this kind of high intense band at around 600 at around 600 centimeter uh, 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 at around 600 nanometer region is actually uh, very characteristic for this kind of blue copper protein Along with the EPR that I have given our lecture on this EPR spectroscopy, okay, so the blue copper protein having uh, uh, EPR signal uh, which is uh, characteristic for copper 2 complex, you can see over at this is the four line spectrum, hyperfine hyper splitted line, four line hyperfine splitted line with G parallel at 2.226 and G perpendicular at 2.05. However, normal copper protein also having same kind of four line spectrum splitting, hyperfine splitting line is one, two, three, four. This kind of this kind of four lines, this kind of is one, two, three, four. This kind of four line splitting pattern, and also this G perpendicular value. But the major difference is that in blue copper protein, this coupling, this actually coupling constant between this hyperfine coupling constant is like very low, very low, 63. Whereas in this normal copper containing complex, is 164. So that so that is why because in blue in, in, in blue copper protein the four lines split, uh, hyperfine splitting line are very much merged together the, their separation is very less uh, whether in normal copper complex their separation is each higher compared to that of blue copper protein. So unusual electronic spectra in popular plastocyanin. So that I have already discussed the absorption band responsible for the color of the simple cupid complex. Normal those kind of band which are responsible for cupid complexes are typically having extension coefficient 5 to 10 molar inverse centimeter inverse. In contrast, blue copper protein are characterized by band appearing around 600 nanometer that are much more intense with an extension coefficient greater than 5000 molar inverse second inverse. So blue copper protein actually the color of the blue copper protein will be shown when copper is plus 2 oxidized state, copper 2 state of an oxidized form it is actually color. When it is reduced, it actually becomes colorless. So that is because this copper 1 is written electronic configuration and copper 2 is denied. Because of this electronic transition, you are getting this kind of color. So basically in blue copper protein, this high intense absorption band giving this color of color of this of this protein, of this copper, of this protein. Unusual EPR in popular unusual EPR in popular plastocyanin. Uh, unusual EPR in uh, popular plastocyanin. So uh, that I have already talked the EPR spectra of blue copper protein exhibit unusual features. What is that? Now it has a uh, high G value. You see that this is 2.2 and 2.1 and 2.26. So the, having high G value and low A value. Here A value is normal copper complex 164. Here 63. So having high G value and low A value and this kind of features is suggesting that that unpaired electron over copper 2 metal ion is delocalized much more in blue copper protein because of this delocalization this kind of molecule this kind of species plastocyanin having low G value uh, high G value and lower A value because of this delocalization this kind of high value splitting in is like uh, very low and they are very close to each other this kind of space separation more delocalizing the other copper 2 complexes so this kind of uh, two difference phenomena is observed in case of plastocyanin uh, rather uh, rather than its uh, competitor on other copper complexes copper 2 or copper 1 complexes now coming to the geometry of four coordinate copper center so you see the a copper 2, we all know that it is denied system and having square plane and geometry because it is a preferable conformation and for the copper 2 system having higher uh, crystal field stabilization energy. After one electron reduction, it will reduce to form copper 1, which is detent system and detent system prefer to exist in tetrahedral geometry where the bond angle is 109 degree 28 minute and here the bond angle is 90 degree. So to change one form to another, like square plane to tetrahedral. Plastically different preferences for this geometry. So that I have already discussed. This kind of geometrical transformation requires a huge amount of energy. So in blue copper protein, which is responsible to 
carry out this electron transfer process one electron transfer process thereby changing this copper 2 to copper 1 form then how does this electron transfer occur so rapidly in blue cover protein because in because in chemistry tells that this kind of transformation requires high amount of energy in synthetic complex if you uh, want to carry out this reaction it will not happen if you synthesize copper to complex and you want to convert copper to copper one and vice versa it will not happen it, it will not take place in synthetic system synthetic model because of this high requirement of energy so but in biology it is actually happening so spontaneously effortlessly so what is the reason behind it now i will discuss it over here so because in the blue copper protein or this kind of uh, series of blue copper protein the prosthetic group that is the copper metal ion and all these four kind of ligand two histidine and two sulfate containing histidine and methionine they are actually embedded in the protein scaffold these are a protein ribbon protein backbone in the within the protein backbone this kind of molecule is reside residing in, in uh, exist in this kind of protein protein scaffold and because of this protein environment and this molecule a, do not exist purely in square form neither in purely tetrahedral form if you see the structure over here this is the structure of this blue cover protein where where you can see that this bond this this is not a perfectly tetrahedral or perfectly uh, square form the rather this is a highly distorted tetrahedral structure but the bond length bond angle is given over here this is a highly distorted tetrahedral structure it means that this is actually in between the square planar and tetrahedral geometry so that it can switch in between one kind of geometry easily and this kind of state where the molecule is exist within the protein scaffold protein backbone is called entatic state so entatic state is a unique geometry of the metal center accounts for the minimum reorganization energy so this is entatic state which is a hypothetical complex this is not a real state this is not a real visualization this is a hypothetical this concept where a unique geometry metal center is having which accounts for the uh, minimum re re reorganization energy and because of that rate of electron transfer is very fast 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 6 molar inverse second inverse now what is entatic state or rack state so if you see this energy profile diagram this is energy and reaction coordinate so to transform one geometry to another geometry you require a certain amount of energy which is delta g dagger dagger so in the red line so in the red form so in the red uh, designation so delta g dagger the upper part so this is the transition state shown over here so near transition state there is a state which is called entatic state which is closer to the transition state that to a conventional stable molecule so the entatic stage structure or uh, it resemble close to a transition state and that is why this kind of state can easily transfer to either this right hand side or to the left hand side so if this blastocyanin in blue power protein exists in entatic state so you will understand it will having minimum energy requirement like delta g jagger to reach the transition state to pass the transition pass the transition state and it can go to the either right hand side either to the product side or to the reactant side also so this copper 2 to copper 1 this square plant retail geometrical transformation easily happen in biology in protein scaffold protein backbone because this kind of molecule exist in entatic state where it is a highly distorted structure tetrahedral structure and because of that this kind of energy requirement is very much low to reach the to reach the transition state and that is a electronic transformation transfer is very much faster which is not able to happen in real synthetic model so uh, low reorganization energy in blue copper protein that are, i have already discussed here in the pictorial diagram we will understand the ash color is for the reduced form and this uh, the white color is for oxidized form so by changing the oxidation state by chain by conversion copper to copper and blue copper protein plastocyanin which is found in protein backbone in embedded embedded in protein backbone in bacteria to plants you will understand this change like this blue uh, as color to white color this bond distance bond angle change is very low you will you will you can see the value when it is oxidized and when it reduce the change the change in the bond angle bond distance is very much 
low and they are very close to each other. All those, all the two species, oxidized form, reduced form, they are very sim similar to each other in terms of bond distance and bond angle. You can see over here this copper, this cysteine, methane, all this angle, all this bond distance. So there is geometrical changes in the blue copper to the active side in the plus two side. So basically, these geometrical changes is very minimum, very much less amount geometrical change is required and that is why low reorganization energy is required in blue cover protein which is indeed essential for this kind of fast electron transfer rate. So low reorganization energy is required in the blue copper protein. So this is the blue copper protein oxidized form, reduced form, this oxidized form, reduced form, all these bond angle changes and distance are given over here. So this, the small changes in geometry upon redox transformation in fast cyanine has been attributed to the restriction of the active site by the protein in an entitic state or rack state that I have already discussed in detail. What is this thing is happening? So this copper, so, so final conclusion is that this copper 2 to copper 1 upon one electron reduction or copper 1 to copper 2 after one electron oxidation, this kind of transformation is actually happening in the blue copper protein which is actually responsible for electron transfer process in plants or bacterial kind of system. So this kind of molecule having copper metal central blue copper protein and blue copper center present a low lambda value. This, this is really reorganization energy value 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 volt, allowing you to change the redox state very fast. So because of this low reorganization energy value, low reorganization energy, this kind of molecule is allowing them to change the redox state, to change the geometry. Because geometry change is very minimum here, so that is why the redox change is possible. On the contrary, type 2 copper complexes usually so low lambda value larger than so, so lambda value larger than 2 electron mole. So that is why I have already discussed other copper complexes, other copper containing proteins that, that is having this large large uh, lambda value. Lambda value is large reorganization energy. Large, large reorganization energy is required, like, which is greater than 2 electron volt. Whereas in blue copper protein, it is 0.6 to 0.8 volt. So hence, rate of electron transfer is so fast in blue copper protein. Thank you.